All right, so another thing that we'd like to talk to you about is establishing a good routine for your dog in your home. Dogs thrive on routine. So that means things like their feeding schedule and their exercise schedule, please keep the same every day, even on the weekends. Be sure that you are feeding your dog, exercising your dog the same manner. I always like to use a phrase that a tired dog is a good dog. So particularly if you have to leave for work for the day, remember you are going to be gone that entire day. That dog needs to be tired and mentally and physically exhausted before you leave. So establishing proper exercise, um, and establishing the food routine. If you do have multiple dogs in the house, make sure that the dogs are fed separately. That could take place with the dogs being in individual crates, one dog being out and the other dog being in the crate, if your current dog is not used to a crate, or having the dogs in separate rooms. But it's being very important that the dog begins to learn and understand what's going to be expected of him or her throughout the day. I can tell you that I am in business because people skip over some of the things that Rachel has mentioned. If I had to put things into a nutshell, I would tell you that when you're done exercising your dog or walking your dog, exercise them and walk them some more. We think that at the end of our day, because we give a dog a 20 minute walk, that that's enough. You gotta remember these dogs have slept for eight hours at night, then they've slept while you're gone at work for another eight hours, give or take. By the time you get home and you're most tired, that's when your dog is really fired up and ready to go. Whatever energy is not burned up by a walk or play is going to be burned up inside the house with jumping, counter surfing, chewing, digging, what have you. Again, the routine, they get off schedule. The biggest times people contact me is during vacations or bad weather or a wedding when the routine is changed and the dog will start to give you plenty of signs like excessive whining, panting, destruction, counter surfing, excessive jumping or barking. They'll tell you, dogs will never lie, they'll tell you exactly what they're thinking if you pick up on the cues. But if you think you've exercised your dog enough, just do a little bit more just for you and the dog. You'll be appreciative of it.